Hello and welcome to Debbie Loves Designing. Well, I made this lovely glamorous earring, absolutely glamorous, and I'm gonna make the other side, so I thought I'd show you how it is made. So what you're gonna need is to cut for making wire. This is 0.8 millimeters, like 21 gauge of wire. Also, you'll need nine of these large pretty beads that I'm using. And then you'll need 10 of these smaller beads. This. And what you'll also need is an airing hook, obviously. Uh, flat nose pliers, maybe chain nose pliers, depends. Wire cutter to cut the wire. And uh, round nose pliers. Obviously you'll need a, a ruler might need a felt tip pen might need a little bit of paper and you may need a, a little tip X I'll show you why so I've already cut this centimeters so you're going to need your ruler because and you're going to need your round nose pliers now so um, I have to start to make my wire wrap which was up here there's little wraps there be wire wraps I have to start those at three centimeters so I've started that three centimeters I've got my finger there and then we're going to start to make a loop so because I want my loop to be the same size as the other loop I like to mark my flyers with a bit of tipex the, the Tipex dries up quick and it, you can take it off afterwards. I've actually got a bit too much than I want, but take that off yet. So I put a bit of Tipex to make, make the mark so the hoop can be the same size as the other one. Because um, some people use a felt tip pen to draw it, but when I put felt tip pen, you can't see. So we're going to start to make the loop. So what we'll do here is just place the loop. I'm going to mark it up where my mark is like that I'm gonna now pick up my round nose pliers which are these are where these are I've already made the mark where I want the, the, the size of the hoop so I'll put it in between where the size of the hoop is like that and then just turn the wire down like that all the way around all the way around the pliers so they looks like a P like a P shape <clears throat> like that so look like it's like a P and then you're going to pick up your flat nose pliers and really clamp make sure you make sure you've clamped it the P the head of the P and then start to twirl I'll hold it like that and start to twirl around the wire keeping the loops very near to each other but don't do it over tight or break so just turning that wire very close to each other turning it round about three times just press it down so you'll see that the coils, pushing it more. Oh, it's chipping my nail varnish, never mind. It's, um, so you see the three twirls, coils, or you want to call them, are close to each other. And as you move it across, it does get a bit more tight, a bit more harder. So I like to pick up my chain nose pliers and grab the end of the wire. Just move that up. Grab the end of the wire and move it across like that. So I grab it like that and just kind of push it across more. Sometimes I might be careful and use my hand and just move it if it won't move across. So you'll see that the loops are, is wonky. So what you have to do is pick up your round nose pliers again, hook it on and slowly 
gradually bring it across. Like that. So you should have the loop at the top. So you should have the loop at the top and then the coils, two or three coils down here and that, that little bit of wire is um, tucked in. If your loop looks looks misshapen, then just a bit slowly just kind of move it across. Right. So it should look something like that. But it's trial and error anyway, because it's not always going to be right at the same time. So the next thing is to thread on the bead, starting with the, well, to be equal with the other earring, isn't it? Because the little beads are at the top. So what I'm going to do is start by threading on the beads. Right, so when you've filled it all up, the next thing you're going to do is measure this little bit here this little um group of loops for the size so that's why i've got the little a little bit of paper and i'm just going to measure it and mark it with a pen because it needs to be the same size each side Right, so I know where to start. And also, I've still got that tiny little mark that's on my pliers. See that little mark there? So, let's see. I'm going to clamp, go down where... So, I'm going to position it where the little white mark is. Well, just on top, really. Cause see my little white mark there? So, I'm going to pos position the pliers there. And I'm just going to measure... And I've measured the, 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 the space between the bead, so the coils are the same size. I'll, I'll start to make a loop again. So the right size, All right? So just bend it right round until I make a P shape. Like that. Take it out. Put in the, hold it with the pliers, I think I'll hold it, hold the hoop with the pliers and then just start to twist the wire, making my little coils. Nice and close to each other. So I formed some coils on the other side. So I've got coils on the other side and then I'm going to just cut off the excess piece and being cautious about where it's going to fly. Just going to cut near. It's flown somewhere, I don't care. And then I'm going to pick up my train those pliers and then just tuck in that piece of excess wire. So. We don't have any sharp ends. I'm going to do it gently, not too hard. So it should all look like this. A hoop on each side and coils next and then the beads. Yeah, it should try and look equal on both sides. You might have to probably practice this more. And then we can just bring it together, bring the loops together like that one on top of the other leave it like that and then we're going to pick up our earring hook and slightly open it I'm going to open it 
very slightly like that so we've got a space and then we're going to just pu push the loops together put the earring hook inside So just have them both inside and then pick up your flat nose pliers or your chain nose pliers and close the loop by bringing it together. Make sure it's closed. Got a slight gap there, so I'm going to just bring that in. Hold them and kind of just bring them together. Once you've got them both in, just close it. Bring this ball up. Absolutely love how these have come out. So thank you for taking time out to watch my channel. If you've got any comments, please comment down below. If you like the channel, please press the, the thumbs button that you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I try to make a video every week, but I don't always. But sometimes I make shorts and different things like that. And if you are going to subscribe, please press the notification bell so they let you know when I have posted another video and if you want to follow me I put my socials down below I don't really go on Twitter that much but I'm all more active on Instagram TikTok and Pinterest and if you want to look at my other designs I'll leave my um, Etsy shop down below the link below so you can have a look at what else I love making so thank you so much bye for now